the ocean. What a marvelous force on our planet. The waters seem to break eternally against the rocks. And yet the rocks don't change. The rocks seem to rise up out of the force of the surging waves and stand almost like a safe fortress. And on top of the fortress stands a light, a light that perhaps is the beacon of salvation, of hope for all who see it. And when I think of the rock of salvation, it truly is a powerful thought that something so humble as a rock rising out of the surging sea could be salvation to many. In many of my paintings of the sea, sailboats play a prominent role, almost as a symbol of the life of the individual as we sail out onto unknown horizons. Perseverance, a recent work, features a sailboat very prominently and suggests the need for strength and courage as we face the storms that come our way. Many of my paintings of lighthouses also feature boats, and this painting, The Rock of Salvation, features an entire regatta of boats. I wanted to conclude my series with a grand finale, for this is the last painting in my series, Seaside Memories. Of the eight paintings in Seaside Memories, each presents a different view of the ocean, both at rest and in its surging power as it tries to engulf the land forms that surround it. My first painting in the series was Beacon of Hope. If you remember, Beacon of Hope was a painting that really attempted to capture the softness of color that you see on the ocean. It was followed by a light in the storm in which I tried to envision the thundercloud rising over the ocean almost as a symbol of God's power and His majesty as seen in the heavens. The third painting in the Seaside Memory series was The Light of Peace, a painting that was inspired by my sketching along the Pacific coast where the craggy rocks cascade down into the surging tide. Clearing storms has become a favorite of many people because of its simple message that no matter how deep and dark the storms get, they will clear and hope will reign again. Sea of Tranquility is perhaps the most spiritual of the paintings in the series. It depicts the voyage of life in a different way, as though at the end of the day the voyage becomes tranquil and the sea becomes calm. Conquering the storms is an enduring image of strength and courage in the midst of a storm that at times seems hopeless. This painting featured one of the few depictions of lightning that I've ever done. Victorian Light is a quaint painting featuring a charming Victorian house. I wanted to focus on the human element of a lighthouse keeper's life. And that, of course, brings us to the final painting in the Seaside Memories series, The Rock of Salvation. As you look at the details in this painting, I invite you to examine not just the brushwork and the technique, but the color that I tried to put at every level. I anchored the forms of the rocks and the cliffs in very deep, rich tones. That gives a sense of strength and power to the landforms. I wanted to create the idea that the Rock of Salvation was a very tangible, monolithic form. I chose stone as the construction material for the lighthouse to give the sense that it was chiseled out of the land that surrounds it. The house that is perched above the cliff is a very charming New England style lighthouse keeper's home and I wanted to create the home out of stone so that like the lighthouse it appears as though it's rooted to its surrounding landscape. I enjoyed the effects of light, the shadow that covers the foreground, which is the cliff and rock area, is accentuated by the light behind it that is sweeping over the distant mountains. I think the sky in this painting is one of the most dramatic sunsets I've ever painted. Uh, of course, I used a lot of crimson tones, but I tried to also bring warm pastel shades at the horizon. As the moisture in the air recedes into the distance, the colors get softer. You know, as I was working on this painting, I kept imagining what it would be like to live in the little lighthouse keeper's cottage. And if you look very closely, you will see the pathway from the cottage heading down 
the hillside and you can see the stones that make up the hillside as they were carved to form a walkway. Each step carved into the rock of salvation itself. Of course, the real subject of this painting is the rock itself. And yet it's not really a painting about a physical rock. It's a painting about the spiritual message of strength that we find in scripture. And we're told that the wise man builds his house upon the rock. Now, whatever your faith might be or whatever background, isn't it nice to know that there is a rock that will not fail, that will never cause us to stumble? This is a rock that will support us and give us strength in the midst of every trial. As with all my paintings, the real goal I have is to enhance the peace and the joy and the beauty within your home. I view myself as a simple servant. I try to create paintings that might have meaning to people, to remind them of the core values they believe in. My prayer is that every time you see the rock of salvation, you will be reminded of the enduring quality of God's love. Because one thing is for sure, the sun may set on a daily basis, but God's love will always shine brightly. Well, this is Thomas Kincaid once again thanking each of you for sharing the light.